not terribly big, but they're brown. And I like brown. So that is what I am talking about. Beautiful red color on him. Super red. Hopefully that's the start to a good day. We're just getting in here and there's sign everywhere. So fingers crossed that we're in a good one. Let's see what happens. Stumble on this horn right here. Look at this. Oh, that's awesome. Got a little doesn't really look busted kind of looks a little like grown weird um, but nonetheless really nice horn it's got a good devil tine on him good base can't ask for much more that's that's why we hike the hills all day long and after a rough day that's a real welcoming sight after about i don't know 15 20 minutes nate came down and Help me scoop up the other side. It was about, about three, 300, 350 yards up the canyon. I had walked by it the first time and luckily Nate was walking right up the bottom and it was just behind some brush. I couldn't see it, but we're able to match him up. Really solid, solid bull. I mean, made the whole, whole day right there. So, I mean, can't ask for much better. Just really cool. Really nice bull. Well, to it already all right back again Nate just uh, called me up here said he got a nice nice looking horn so go ahead and do a little pickup right here dude that's awesome nice hard white Oh yeah, look at that. Really good beam on him. Real nice beam. A little chewed up. Little tiny burr on him. Nothing too special, but I know Nate's got another ragger. He's up on this, on this big ridge and Javi's grading up above me. So we'll just have to see what happens. But check out the size of this base. Jeez, look at all that. But there's a sleeping bag. Here's some of the horns that we plan on taking out. I think I found 21 yesterday, but I only have six here. I only have six at camp. I just, I couldn't bring any more.